Hi, my name is Kevin and I am the Bad Back Gardener. In this video today, we are going to be making a mug display shelf. It's going to be a rustic mug display shelf and I'm going to build it out of uh, old pallet. Now, I had a pallet and I've taken the time before this. I've already torn it all apart into, and got the boards. Uh, I did pretty good. Didn't ruin too many of the boards that, that I got off it. So uh, when you're trying to build something out of a pallet, look for the ones that kind of have that weathered patina, but look for the ones that aren't, uh, have a ton of nails in them. So you don't want like a whole bunch of nails because it'll take, it'll be too hard to take apart and you'll just bust the boards all up, taking them apart. So you want to look at the ones with the fewest nails in them. So we're going to get started with that. So we're going to make our shelf or our mug display shelf uh, 20 inches wide by 48 inches long and then I'll put some backer boards on it also. But I've went ahead and cut uh, some 19 inch boards that's going to go between. These are going to be my shelves. And they are going to be rustic, so they're a little not the prettiest boards in the world. So we'll get started by that. <clears throat> and I'm going to, to assemble them at first. I'm going to use my staple gun just to staple them together. Then I'm going to go back with the drill and some screws and screw them together tighter. So we'll start by putting a couple pieces together here. Now some of these have, the nails have been cut off, but you still may see the nail heads in them, which is okay because that makes it rustic and that's what I, I want here. Now because I'm using old weathered pallet boards, they may not be exactly straight, uh, but they are pretty good for this pallet that I did get, but it, it's, I can see a little bit of a curve in this one, which is okay. That's all right for what I want it for. So we'll put my safety glasses on and we're gonna staple these together here. Now what I am using, I am using exterior screws be just because I like the heads on them better than the, the black drywall screws and they'll blend in with the wood a little bit more and you won't see them as much. on to the next shelf here. I'm gonna, then I'm going to divide the shelves up here and put some more in. Okay, so I want my shelves to be nine inches between shelves. So I gotta space them out with the 48 inches. They're half inch pieces of board. So I'm gonna have four shelves in the middle here for the nine inch spacing. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark where I'm wanting my shelves to be. Okay, 
now that I've marked out the spacing of my shelves that I want, I'm going to take a square and just uh, make sure they're level down across the board. I'll mark where I want them to be. Okay, I got those marked, so now I'll go ahead and install the remaining shelves here. shelves all spaced out correctly. I got them tacked in. I'm going to go ahead and screw them in from the side. Put a screw in each one to hold it. I'm pre-drilling so I don't split the the pallet wood because it sometimes will split in the ends but I just want to drill it to make sure it doesn't continue to split anywhere. I'm back. I had to, my, both my things were running out of battery here to, to put these in with and uh, I went to get my other cordless drill driver and battery was dead in it too. So I'm on my fourth tool here, my fourth uh, cordless tool here. So I got my cordless drill that I'll finish drilling or installing the screws in with. Okay, now I flip the piece over here and I'm going to install two boards on the back like so, like that. And what that's going to do for me is to stiffen this up as well as give me a spot to drill through to mount it to the wall. So I'm going to install two of those boards like that. Now, if you want to, you can you can fill this in completely with boards. Uh, I'm not going to do that with mine, but uh, that's an option for you. you can do. And then you'd see the back of that. If you were displaying it on the shelf, uh, on like a white wall or something, you may not want to see the white wall through the shelf. So maybe you want to finish the whole back, but mine's going to be probably displayed on a wooden wall, so you're it, not going to gain too much of anything by seeing through it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to install these two pieces of board on here.
Okay, that's going to do it for this video of building a rustic mug display shelf made out of a pallet. Uh, that uh, didn't take very long. It's a quick and easy project to take care of. I'll show you a picture here of what it looked like once it's mounted. So uh, that's going to do it here. Thanks for watching. Catch up with me on Facebook. You can also email me at bbgardener at zoominternet.net. And as always, if your back ain't hurting, you ain't working.